the secret to being good at rowing is you just is you have to be capable of two things. One is incredible boredom, and the other is doing what you don't want to do for massive amounts of time. And if you can do those two things, you're probably going to have a pretty good amount of success. Unfortunately, law is somewhat the same way. You know, if you want to win, you're going to have to go dig through a lot of information and you're going to have to be thorough. You're only on the metal stand for a few minutes. That doesn't account for the weeks and months and years you spent getting there. And in that, in that fashion, I think they're very, very similar. It's nice to be able to sort of exhaust myself in one way. You know, if I go out and have a really hard workout, it's that much easier to sit there and grind through the work of, of you know, the legal theory I might be working with. And then vice versa, once my brain's just ready to shut down, I can go and do something a little more mindless that is rowing. I think that I've done better um, in school and in rowing, um, at least in my attitude towards them, if not my, my grades, um, for having them both at the same time. I've told people, yeah, you know, I'm really lucky to be here, and I think so it kind of takes some people aback, like, like I'm looking at you, man, and it, like, it doesn't look like you're that lucky. Um, but you know, really, if you could see all that I've been through through my eyes, I got unlucky one time. I, I contracted the disease. You know, I got this life-threatening infection. But after that, everything else has been fortunate. You know, the two things I want to be doing in my life right now are school and rowing. And I get to do both for my two favorite institutions in the world, the Ohio State University and the United States of America. It, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs>